Reinventing the Sustainability Industry. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 135. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51 c 3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 135, October 25th, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the first 50% of the written content for the Emotional States lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan is purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of Emotional States. Behind the scenes, we also wrote the final one half of the Energy lesson plan, bringing the written part of that to 100% complete behind the scenes. And finally, we completed and added the final 50% of the mind map for the creativity lesson plan to the web page. You can see that mind map here. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food finished the final social media imagery and featured our open source Kabakui hub. We also added three additional recipes from Sandra Solani, vegan chef and author of What's Your BQ, to the food self-sufficiency transition plan. These recipes are banana date muffins, pasta salad, and veggies in a blanket. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team working on Highest Good Housing continued what we hope will be the final revision of the Footers Foundation and Flooring page for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This week included adding details for a step-by-step -step mobile compass base unit for easy extraction from a completed dome, more updates to the French drain water collection design that you can see here, and researching and adding another eight materials and photos to the materials list. We also continue to redesign the Highest Good Housing page to include a quick link image section and more updates to the content of this page. In addition to this, we began posting the website content for the Dome Home Window and Door Framing tutorial for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. What you see here is another 20% of this tutorial update bringing us to 35% done with this new page creation. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician 
if you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued updating the SketchUp 3D for the Duplicable City Center. This week, we focused on placement appliances and detailing the food service areas. Images you see here show all our progress in these areas, and we'd say we are now 65% done with this 3D work. Iris Sue, industrial designer, continued developing and evolving the pipe furniture designs. What you see here are the fifth generation concept designs for the chairs for the Duplicable City Center Library, evolving in sketches, and then these renders which show that the chairs will be able to be converted into tables and are designed to be built out of PVC or recycled plumbing piping. Behind the scenes, Mike Hogan, Automation Systems Developer and Business Systems Consultant, and Lucas Tetsui De Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, continue developing the Control Systems Connector Deck. Here you see Mike drawing details from our latest collaborative call, and this image of the connector deck developing in AutoCAD. And this is Mike showing Lucas the goodie box of hardware he'll be sending him so they can start building the deck and writing and testing software for it. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team continued editing and formatting the wonderful work of Oz Chersky, a lawyer specializing in trademark and copyright law. This included finishing edits to the open source trademarking tutorial page that you see here. One more round of review by Oz, and this page will be 100% complete. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. One community is reinventing the sustainability industry. And while we're in the beginning stages right now, we see a complete reinvention of the sustainability industry as something that's possible and has the potential to positively and permanently transform the world for everybody. Our path to reinventing the sustainability industry is to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough to build teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs that are both self-sufficient and sustainable and self-replicating all over the world. Our idea is if we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate the teacher demonstration hub, community, village, city model as something that people want, then using open source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources, blueprints that we're creating for replication of that model, these ideas will spread across the world and impact every sector of the sustainability industry and create a global collaboration, a global cooperation of people working together to create a sustainable planet for everyone. The foundation of sustainability that we're focused on first are food, energy, and housing, which are the physical sustainability components. And we are also evolving sustainability to include the emotional sustainability components that we've identified as high school education, high school economics, which is for-profit, non-profit business creation, as well as true earth stewardship and fulfilled living models. Putting these things together to create a way of life that we think that most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. Again, our idea is if we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough that this idea will spread on its own and we're building one community as a place that people can come and visit and experience this lifestyle, tens of thousands, eventually hundreds of thousands of people, and see if they like it. Like going to a restaurant and having a recipe that just blows your mind and then realizing that you can go and make that for yourself just by going on the internet and finding exact tools, tutorials, and resources, step-by-step -step instructions for duplication. We want to create a complete lifestyle that specifically helps people to live a better life and help others to live a better life too. So if a community like this is built in Nigeria or Kenya or the United States or wherever in the world, that it brings more than it takes, that it provides something of value to the community, to the local community, to the local cities, to the local infrastructure, but also globally by working as part of a global collaborative to make a better world for everybody. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this sounds interesting to you, we invite you to participate. 
I invite you to get involved. We have lots of different ways to, to participate with us from the pioneer team that will move to the property and build everything that is one community to volunteers and consultants working behind the scenes, helping in the ways that they can to satellite members who are parts of our weekly team calls, but not planning to move to the property, but still integrated in even more than a consultant or partner. This is what we're up to. This is what we're doing. And in the event that we succeed, and we believe that it is inevitable that we will succeed because we are so focused on the three basic principles that really apply to the success of any product or thing or movement, which is easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough. We believe that it's inevitable that we will succeed. And we're bringing together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all. People that believe that we're the ones that we're waiting for, that we are the ones who are capable of creating change, that change starts with the individual and becomes a movement, that taking action is an individual decision, and that bridging that gap between idealism and pragmatism, or pragmatism and idealism, putting these two things, two things together to create a better world for everybody is totally and completely possible in our lifetime if enough people participate. And so we're clearing away the barriers to participation, making it as easy as possible for people to participate and get involved. Because we know that when we reach that tipping point, and we think we can reach that in our lifetime, that tipping point of participation, with enough people interested in wanting to participate, with a self-replicating model like this, it will positively and permanently change the world for everybody. This is what we're doing. And in so doing, we'll reinvent the sustainability industry as an open source collaborative industry that will ripple out to other industries as people understand that collaboration and cooperation is a better way to move forward, that we can do more when we work together than when we compete, that there are enough resources on the planet to meet the needs of everybody, that we can share this one shared earth that we are already sharing, but we can share all the resources and everything else as well in a way that benefits everybody because that benefits the lowest, but it also benefits the highest. We can eliminate war and poverty and homelessness we can give access to energy to every single person on the planet. We can, we can address and, and eliminate social injustice and inequality by helping each other, by becoming a civilization of people that recognize that if that exists, it's a reflection upon us. It's a reflection on, on our, our goals, our morality, our values that says that, hey, we can do better. And by being this, this group of people, by carrying the consciousness of the highest good of all as a society that thinks that that's not okay. And so we want to create a way for people to think that way because it meets their own personal selfish needs better than the current way. And by doing that, enroll more and more people and reach that tipping point. So this is how we're reinventing the sustainability industry and ultimately reinventing civilization on this planet for everybody. And anyone can participate. Of course, the easiest way to participate is by sharing our information on social media. We are on all the different social media networks because we want to make it as easy, as easy as possible for people to access what it is that they're interested in. So we are on Pinterest. We are on Twitter. We are on Sue. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Tumblr. We are on Facebook. We are on Reddit. We are on 15 other social media networks, more than 15, to make it as easy as possible for people to access our information. And sharing our information there helps us to bridge that gap to meet more people, to reach more people, and to uh, move more quickly towards that tipping point that we're working so hard towards. Also, of course, if people are interested in the number one thing that would help us, it is, of course, large-scale funding. We're an all-volunteer nonprofit organization. None of us are paid. I'm not paid. Nobody else on our team is paid. So all of us are working together and volunteering our time, but we need large-scale funding to get the property that we've been working with for over five years and to purchase that property and to be able to start building and take everything to the next level. So being able to share that property through video and pictures would also help us to build our team faster. And so being able to put the down payment on that property to secure that property would be a huge step in the right direction, but we need large-scale funding to do that. So if you're somebody who is that person who could possibly provide those funds, or you're somebody who knows a group or individual that could provide those funds uh, as either a donation to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or as an investment in one community, we would, of course, love to speak to you. This idea of reinventing the sustainability industry could not be larger. It means reinventing our planet as an open source, free sharing, cooperative, global cooperative and collaborative of people working together, of teacher demonstration, communities, villages, cities, and hubs, working together to create a better life for everybody. Building a prototype that is capable of self-replicating itself 
and then using that self-replication process to start working with the entire industry of sustainability and bringing them into the fold, into the communication to create better businesses, to create better ways of, of working together by working directly with the consumer, by helping people directly and, and doing it in such a way that is truly for the highest good of all involved. Eliminating the barriers to innovation and creativity so that we can create this better world for everybody and so that we can do it within our lifetime. So we can simultaneously address all the challenges of our generation, generations to come, because we see them as not only interrelated, but as interdependent. And so our model is designed to do exactly that. So as always, thank you for all your progress. Thank you for the emails we get. Thank you for the donations that we get, the $5, the $10, occasional $50 donation that we get. It really makes a big difference to us because it helps cover the expenses of running a global organization like ours that uh, has no paid members. And so uh, we operate entirely on your donations. Um, thank you for the emails we get, the comments, the shares on social media and Facebook. We appreciate all those as well. And of course, until next week, Oh, last but not least, if you'd like to see more details and specifics, you can visit our written blog. If you'd like to receive an email, every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.